Hello. Don't have a big backyard. Don't have an allotment. Don't need lots of compost. Growing vegetables at home. Got some buckets. Got some pots. Got some soil. This video is for you. This is how to collect and use small quantities of seaweed or grass and some autumn leaves and no heavy lifting. Use this free organic material to make a chop and drop compost. After mixing, simply chop the mix and drop it onto your buckets or pots full of soil and let nature do the rest. Through the autumn and winter months your soil will be re-energised and ready to go again in spring. How many of those criteria applied to you? Let's see if we can remember them uh, in no particular order. Um, you're growing vegetables at home, so I get a tick in the box. You're growing them in pots or buckets, or trying to. The reason you're doing that is that you don't have a big backyard or an allotment. Well if you're going to tick in all of those boxes, this video is definitely for you. So let's get on with it. What we've got here. Well this is one of my buckets. And that's the soil in the bucket, I hope you can see that. The bucket's got soil in it. And that soil earlier this year grew potatoes. Uh, we took the potatoes indoors and we've eaten those. We put the soil straight back in the bucket. This is something I do every year. And this soil has been sitting in this bucket patiently waiting for autumn to arrive. Because autumn is chop and drop time. Autumn is when the leaves fall from the trees and we usually get a couple of storms that come across the Atlantic here to the UK and washes lots of seaweed up onto the high water mark. The leaves are free, the seaweed's free. We've got the soil, we've got the bucket. We don't need a lot of seaweed and we don't need a lot of leaves and we're not too bothered about the mix ratio. Uh, we'll use whatever we can get. So let me put this to one side uh, and let me show you what we've got and tell you how we got it. Small shopping bag full of leaves, small shopping bag full of seaweed. Not very heavy. If you've got access to a seashore Hopefully you've got access to seaweed. If you haven't got access to seaweed, then grass is a substitute. You can use grass instead of seaweed. Uh, if you can get seaweed, I think seaweed's better. In fact, I'm convinced seaweed is much better than grass. Uh, but if you can't get seaweed, substitute grass. Surely everybody can get leaves, especially in autumn. Right, so. Me and Molly have collected this, um, cost us nothing. Me and Molly haven't done anything to collect this. Uh, my neighbour from two doors down, Richie, um, has collected these leaves for me. From his drive, the wind just blew these in and he got his leaf vacuum out and vacuumed them up. Um, so I didn't have to do anything to get the leaves, just the seaweed. And if I'd cut my lawn, if I didn't have seaweed and cut my lawn, I wouldn't have anything to do to get the grass either, would I? That would be free as well. Um, so these are possibly well chopped. This is just as I found it uh, on the seashore. So we'll have a look at these leaves first and then we'll have a look at the seaweed. Uh, let me just take a few leaves out of this bag and show you what we've got. Um, I'll try not to spill them all over the place. They're the leaves, look. They look fairly well chopped. Can you tell that? Yeah, they've obviously uh, had a bit of chopping, uh, so we part way there, haven't we? So let's put these in here, and let me tell you about chopping um, and why we want to chop the ingredients 
uh, of our compost and why we want to mix the ingredients. Okay, each of these ingredients brings something different to the compost. This is termed a green ingredient, the leaves are termed a brown ingredient. I think one brings carbon and one brings nitrogen. I'm not 100% on that, uh, but they certainly bring different things uh, to the mix. And there are people that would advocate that leaves are as much as you need. Even if you don't have seaweed, even if you don't add grass, leaves will do a good job for you when it comes to uh, composting. And I would argue seaweed would work on its own, but the mix uh, is a much better option. Um, and the chopping of seaweed and leaves uh, increases the surface area of those constituents and allows for a more rapid decomposition of the mix. In addition, the soil nutrients found in it are more easily accessed. Um, so that's why we chop. We're going to stand these on the soil uh, for all the autumn months and all the winter months. Uh, and when we come into spring, we expect most of this will have broken down and the goodness uh, will have gone into that soil, will have re-energised the soil in that bucket ready to go in spring. Okay, let me show you this stuff um, before we do any chopping. I'll show you how to chop it. Okay, can you see that's much, I don't know, well it's, <laughs> there's no other way to describe it than it's seaweed. Okay. That's seaweed. Right, now then, let me show you how we're going to chop this seaweed. Garden shears, have you got some? Have you got some garden shears? Okay, well if you have, we want to be chopping the mix. If you haven't got shears, just make a mix. Just put it on, it'll work, but it won't work as quickly. Uh, chopping's the secret to make it work quickly through winter. Uh, there'll be no temperature generated because we're only putting a few inches on these pots and it is winter and we're not covering it up. Um, so it will be exposed to the elements. Uh, it will get cold, it will get frost, it will get rain, it might get some snow. In fact, I'm going to uh, dovetail onto this uh, video some shots of the pots I had last year. Um, covered in this chop and drop. Uh, I think you might like them. It'll, it'll show you what's, what's going to happen uh, post doing this uh, chop and drop. Okay, right, let's do it. Okay, so this is one of your buckets. What we're going to do is, we're going to pop a little seaweed into that. Like this. Okay. And we're going to chop it like this. Don't overfill your bucket with seaweed otherwise you might find it difficult uh, to do this. Now there is one other ingredient we're going to add to this. Um, I haven't mentioned it yet, but I'll mention it now. We're going to add some coffee grounds. That is another free ingredient. Um, 
I've got some clips of some Starbucks bags. I think it's Starbucks or Costa. Both Starbucks and Costa give coffee grounds away to gardeners. Um, if you were to Google free coffee grounds for gardeners Starbucks or free coffee grounds for gardeners Costa uh, you'll be able to read about the initiative and they're doing that uh, I don't think it's because they particularly like gardeners they don't particularly like the amount of money they're having to spend to send the stuff to landfill and really it shouldn't be going to landfill gardeners should be using it uh, it's very beneficial for worms I'm led to believe. If you look at any of the vermiculture videos, uh, you'll see that. Um, and also, it's a good compost. It's, it's, it's a neutral agent and it'll help uh, the decomposition of these two ingredients. Right, one more chop. Okay, let's have a look at this. So, before we do, this is what it looked like before it went in this bucket. This is what it looks like now. Okay, now I've chopped the seaweed separate from the leaves uh, deliberately so that I could show you chopped seaweed. Uh, you've already seen chopped leaves because of, as I've explained uh, when I got the leaves given they were already chopped but this is how you would do it if your leaves are not chopped. Okay, you'd put some seaweed in your bucket then you'd put some leaves in now I'm using this chopped seaweed, but this wouldn't be chopped seaweed normally. Put some seaweed in. Put some leaves in. So the idea is that all those ingredients are not chopped. Okay. stir up to make sure we've got a mix. I'll pop some more of this chopped seaweed in there. Okay. Now then, let me show you this. Just move this to one side. That's a sweet jar from my local sweet shop. It's a plastic jar. Each time the shop buy some sweets in, come in another jar and this jar would finish up at the plastic recycler uh, and I find them very good storage jars and all you have to do is ask the person behind the counter have they got any old plastic sweet jars and you get them okay and this particular one is full of coffee grounds, this is my coffee grounds jar I've taken some out These are the coffee grounds. Okay. They're the coffee grounds. I'm simply going to sprinkle those in. Okay. Like that. Then we'll give it a mix up. Like this. Okay. And because the seaweed's wet or damp, those coffee grounds should stick. Now then, let me move this seaweed to one side and these garden shears. OK, 
Okay, so we've got the soil back in the shot now. And this is all we're going to do, and we're going to do no more than this. That's all we're going to do. Come on, this is chop and drop. This is winter composting at homegrown veg. Now, what's going to happen is the, the rain's going to wet this, push it down. Probably get attacked by frost during the autumn and winter, maybe some snow on there. It'll all want to push it down into this soil and the worms that are living in there, worms will only live in healthy soil and you want healthy soil. So you want worms in your soil. This is food for worms. Hey, it's a win, 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 isn't it? How many wins is it? Blimey. So that's all we're going to do. So all we're going to do now is take this outdoors Put this on the stack uh, and we won't do anything else with this bucket of soil until spring and at that point in time we may empty it out if there's any of this left on top we may take it off I haven't made my mind up yet we may empty it out and incorporate what's left into the soil we'll make that decision when spring comes when we see what's left on the top now one thing I will tell you is that while this is out I expect I'll cut my lawn, I'll cut the grass at least another two or three times and I will drizzle some grass on the top of this. Needn't throw it out, we can use it can't we? We can use it. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, this is homegrown veg, signing out. <laughs>